Okay, so, so the, of the four air shafts, the two in the Queen's Chamber weren't found until the 19th century. They didn't come all the way to the outside, but the two in the King's Chamber were known from the beginning. They come all the way to the outside. Of the four, they're all approximately the same rectangular shape, except for this one, the south shaft in, in the King's Chamber. I think there is a definite symbolism and meaning to the, ch the, the chains of shapes that take place. So the King's Southern Air Chef starts as a pentagon, like the number of grace, becomes an oval, looks like a cosmic egg for about eight feet, so he's being changed inside this tunnel, and then it becomes a rectangular chute like all the other uh, shafts, and then he's shot out to the heavens to become the imperishable star. So the actual center line to the Great Pyramid is right here. This, this is the north-south center of the Great Pyramid. Half of the pyramid is on that side, half of the pyramid is on this side, and it goes right through the, right through the, the coffin. But the east-west center is on, is over there. There's nothing that we know of in the east center. The Great Step that we came up, that's at the east-west intersection of the pyramid, so half the pyramid's on this side and half's on that side. So the center point of the pyramid is over there. So but this is the north-south side, okay? So, so here's a top view of the Great Pyramid with north at the bottom. So you can see there's nothing in the center. It's, uh, the, it's not in the Queen's Chamber. It's not in the King's Chamber. Now, this is where the coffer is, where I was standing in the King's Chamber right there. Okay, so there's the, uh, the line that goes right through it. That's the, the this line that goes through north-south directly in the middle of the Great Pyramid. So uh, to the right is to the west and to the uh, left is to the east. That divides the pyramid east and west. And then when you put the middle line through, it goes through the Great Step. It's the uh, east-west diagonal of the Great Pyramid. Everything to the top of that is north and uh, south, and everything to the, the, the bottom of that is south. So there, there is nothing in the center of the Great Pyramid that we know of. This, both of these, here, look at how offset they are. So, Orion's going to put the camera on me. I'm now walking away from the center point. This is the center of the north south of the, of, the, of the Great Pyramid. This is the center. Now I'm walking away from the center. I'm walking away to the east. I'm walking to the east. I'm walking to the east. Look, I'm going to show you that all the animals correspond to a certain star, right? Yes. So the Great Pyramid is one of the belt stars, and it corresponds to the Omni Tau. So the it's great double. Points to itself. Oftentimes in books they'll say that this points to a lion. They don't tell you which star to rush. Yes, it points to a lion. It points to a specific star to a lion. Oh wow, represents 